Alexa, stop. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, and good morning. Hi, today I thought that I would um, show you guys my morning routine. Uh, and I have a little bit of extra time today, so let's do it. Say hi. Yeah, if I didn't have Alexa, I'd have these guys. Okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Something that has been a game changer for me with uh, my mornings is actually not looking at my Instagram feed or my notifications or my Twitter or my email. Not starting my day with everyone else's highlight reel. Not giving my time to anyone else until I'm done with my gratitude practice. I know sometimes I put Duke and Daisy up uh, on my Instagram. That's because they're just, they're really cute in the mornings and she is just, she doesn't get as cute in the afternoon. It's like she's snuggly and then, then she's sassy. But I don't look at my feed and I don't look at the notifications. I will start my day focused in on the things that I'm capable of, that I'm grateful for, that are in my world. And I'll also be really focused in on what I'm trying to achieve for that day. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, we're so hungry, come on. Come on, babies. So normally every morning I wake up, <laughs> I bring the babies up here and make them food, feed them, make me coffee. And um, hey, Daisy and Duke. So I got Daisy and Duke um, about four or five years ago. I was uh, newly single, living in an apartment uh, on my own and decided that loneliness sucked. <laughs> And I was really struggling with it, and so I wanted to get a dog. I found Duke online. I knew that I needed to have a small dog for the apartment that I was in, and so I found Duke and fell in love with his little face. And, and this is actually Antonio Brown season. This was a Sunday before camera blocking. I went out to, um, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> so this little monster, I went out to see him at, in Santa Monica at the shelter and so it was a place called La Hassa Happy Homes. They take small dogs from kill shelters. And they said that he had been inseparable from this other little dog. So they introduced Daisy to me and this, she did not look like this at the time. She was a hot mess at the time. Um, but I took them out to the park and I played with them and she basically did this. She laid down next to me on the grass and looked up at me with these, these beautiful brown eyes. And this one just came in and, and snuggled into, and I was like, well, apparently I'm going home with two dogs. He was peeing all over my house in the beginning. I'd put diapers on Duke. I put diapers on Duke because he was peeing everywhere. But eventually we got there and I don't know what I'd ever do without them. All right, so what I give them for food, little chicken, small batch sliders. And then I have Honest Kitchen base mix that I also put in with it. And then I mix up my own goat milk for them with this powder. This one right here, I also give them, which I'm running out of, little turmeric bites. I just put a half a one on top of their food like a little, like a little treat and it's turmeric, it's good for them. Salmon oil, uh, a little bit of that in each. I've already put the goat's milk in. We've already made that, I need to make some more. And then we stir it up. I am not a believer in dogs being vegan. I think that is ridiculous. I'm sorry if your dog is a vegan and it works for you. It doesn't for mine. Um, and when I started really taking notice of it, their coats were nicer, their, their breath was better. Well, Daisy's breath was better. Duke's breath has not gotten better. It is like hot garbage. There is construction going on. There is three places with construction. So there is up on the corner someone is building, across the road from me someone is renovating, and next door to me. It's been really fun. So we'll just close up all of this, shall we? There we go. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I pay more attention to their diet than mine. Look at that, they even get treats on top of their food. They don't do that for me. I barely cook for myself these days. All right, you two, come on. It's time to eat. Now it's time for the most important part of my day, which is coffee. Coffee and vitamins. Let's talk vitamins, guys. My mum, when I was a kid, would 
give me so many vitamins that I would swear that I would tell her that I was rattling on the way to school. Well, it was just a lot. And so I rebelled against it for a very, very long time until the last few years. You know, you turn 30 and shit changes and you just realize maybe I should start doing things. <laughs> this is my little pill box. Would you like to see it? Yes, I take all of these vitamins. This is vitamin D and vitamin E. I also have uh, palm fruit in here, uh, which is really good for you. It's an antioxidant. I have biotin. I have B6, B12, brain function. There's the green one, the purple one, which tastes like rotten eggs, but you know, you gotta do it. All right, time to do the vitamin adventure. I'm just trying to like live forever and, and look, 30 the whole time, you know? Oh. Done. All right, Daisy is tearing up the corner. It's time to take them out. Let's walk, come on, let's go. All right, my nuggets, let's go. Okay, someone's gotta make a decision here. I forgot poop bags, we're not going to talk about that. We're just going to keep walking, okay? Don't tell anyone. I'll come back and get it later. That dog's really aggressive, we don't like him. So after I've had, uh, well, I've made my coffee, I've had my vitamins, um, and I've walked the babies and taken care of them, it's time to do a little bit of self-care for me. And something that changed my world and, and my every day was practicing gratitude. And about two years ago, I got to a moment where I uh, thought that I was losing my mind. I should have been so happy at this beautiful life and everything that's happening in it. And I felt anxiety and I was emotional and hypersensitive and reading things just completely the wrong way. And I had to make a change, started therapy started retreats, started self-care, and then came into meditation and practicing gratitude. I like to write the things that I'm grateful for. That could be as simple as having Duke and Daisy with me. It could be as simple as the sun shining today and the beautiful weather and the day that I have ahead. For me, and I guess understandably, right, the last few weeks, if not months, I would say, my gratitude journal has been very much about thanking the universe for this opportunity of growth that I'm put into a different space and a, and a moment of transition. And while that can be very terrifying, it's also um, the kick in the butt that you sometimes need. And it went from, holy crap, this is happening. I'm not on this season of Dancing with the Stars. So holy crap, this is happening. I'm not on this season of Dancing with the Stars. I have all this time of all these things that I can do that I've been saying that I want to do for so long and now I can build them. And so I'm finding my entrepreneurial side. Uh, I'm, I'm working on the actress within me and the singer and, uh, and now finally in a space where I can even create YouTube content, uh, which is something that, let's be real, I've been saying I was gonna do that for a very long time. And now we're doing it. So I gave a lot of gratitude today for the fact that I can be in this moment creating content for you guys and that I am in a space of growth and creativity and inspiration right now. And then I sign it, S with a kiss kiss. And that's that, that's my gratitude done for the day, every day. Now it's time to work out. Sometimes I'll go to the gym, actually a lot of the time I'll go to the gym, but it's such a beautiful day outside. I want to go and use some of the hidden steps that are around this area. They are complete killers. Let's go. <laughs> After I work out, I always try and make time for meditation. It doesn't always happen. And I am not a professional meditator. So for me, uh, even just five minutes is helpful, where I now center in on everything that I've got to do for the rest of the day uh, and just balance myself out. And to do that, I usually play some music or sometimes a guided meditation because I'm still learning. Let's do it. Construction really helps with meditating.
excuse me. You know what? Usually I put my phone on uh, airplane mode and I forgot that today. It does help. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Let's try this again. Okay. It's time to do the rest of the day. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling scented. I'm ready, the babies are happy. And uh, it's time to get this day moving. Thank you for watching and make sure that you like and you subscribe and comment. Let me know the things that you liked and the things that you didn't like. Uh, and I will definitely be reading the comments uh, and checking in. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging with me. I'm gonna go take a shower and uh, you are not allowed to be a part of this next bit. Bye.